hey, my sweet babies. Y'all know that's how Monique be talking to us, right, when she get on the internet, right? So y'all know I'm going to be talking about Monique, Mr. Sydney, and Monique's son. Now, recently Monique did an interview with Shannon Sharp where she brought up her son, and that kind of triggered her son to do a video where he expresses feelings as though he's being neglected by his mom. And then after he does his video, of course, Mr. Sydney and Monique get on the internet and they do their video as well, which I want to call their rebuttal to the son's arguments. So let's jump into it. The son says, hey, look, the reason why I'm getting up on here is because Monique basically said that she's praying to the universe to have a better relationship with me her son. Um, and I don't think that that is true, right? So that those were the, the sentiments that the son expressed. The son said basically that he feels as though the relationship, and I'm just um, summarizing here, the relationship between Monique and him are, they have an understanding that they've both washed their hands of the situation, whether it was expressed verbally or not, right? They both kind of decide to live separately. He does experience, he does express um, feeling as though he was neglected in certain situations. He does express feeling as though Monique doesn't make an effort to see her grandchild. You know, like he, 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 he gets into some really deep stuff. Just for Mr. Sydney and Monique to get online and Mr. Sydney for him to basically said, oh, well, your mom did this. She got you a car. She did this. She did this. And I feel like the son had already addressed that feeling as though monetary things doesn't replace the emotional attachment that a son should have with a mom. Right. But you know, he says, but Mr. Sydney gets online and he's like, your mom did this. And he kind of, Mr. Sydney was like, kind of like talking about things that I think really didn't have to do with the situation at hand. But let's jump into how I'm feeling about the son. I don't feel as though the son should have gotten online and did the video because at the end of the day, when you are a celebrity and the son is also a comedian. So when you are a celebrity, I don't think you should go online and, exper and express your family um, grievances, express your family problems. Because at the end of the day, um, how you're perceived publicly is directly correlated to the money, the um, co di directly um, related to the amount of money you're going to make. So why play with that in any way shape or form I feel like if he was hurt by the interview or if he felt that way about the interview he should have sent his mom a text but he didn't do that he took to the internet so some of the things that he he said so that's one thing I, I kind of disagree with him about one of the other thing he talks about is being neglected now a lot of people do feel neglected by their parents and I feel like as a parent what happens with the neglect is that you're faced with choices and choices and options your choice could be spend a lot of time with your child but starve or go out make this money but you lose a little bit of time with your child and that's a choice that we do unfortunately have to make with the economy that we do have ahead of us and I'm sorry if you're hearing noise in the background um but then I think as a parent which I which is where I think Monique goes wrong when your child does grow up, you should be working actively to undo some of the trauma that you may have created for your child, right? You should be trying to bond with them and um, build that emotional connection that you may not have been able to build with them when they were lot younger because you were busy grinding, right? So I feel like that's kind of where Monique is going wrong. But anyway, um, with all of what the son says, Mr. Sidney takes to the internet and he's just like, oh, this, that, and devil knows what else. And I kind of disagree with Mr. Sidney for even speaking out about this. I think this was supposed to be a situation between Monique and her son. And I get it, Mr. Sidney is her husband. However, you should know as a parent, as a husband, as a manager, as whoever, that sometimes you have to stand down. And I get it people women want to be submissive to their men women want to be submissive this submissive that but you don't have to lose your voice in that submission and I feel like Monique is losing her voice in that submission which is why she takes she expresses such a strong voice to everywhere else because she doesn't have that voice in her own relationship and that's just my analysis of the situation and I just feel like overall the son is right in some areas and wrong in certain areas and I feel like the Mr. Sydney is wrong for even speaking now he should have allowed Monique the time and opportunity to speak we want to hear from Monique Monique was the one who was on Miss, Miss, uh, Mrs. Parker's Monique is who we fell in love with so allow Monique to have a voice in her own relationship